Conditions required for the formation of tropical revolving strom. Largest low pressure. Adequate amount of Coriolis force. Warm temperatures of ocean. Sufficient depth. Relative humidity. Potentially unstable atmosphere. Limited vertical wind shear. Largest low pressure. Pressure must be lowered with greatest value and this low pressure area must be surrounded by areas of high pressure. Coriolis force. For a TRS to form, there should be adequate value of Coriolis force, as Coriolis force is minimum or negligible at equator, TRS. Does not form within 5 degrees latitude from the equator. Warm temperatures of ocean. An ocean temperature of 26.5 degrees Celsius is the minimum requirement for TRS formation. They are necessary to fuel the heat engine of the tropical cyclone. Sufficient depth. Warm ocean water must exist over a sufficient depth of at least 50 meter. Relative humidity. High relative humidity should be present in the lower to middle levels of the troposphere. The required amount of humidity is about 50 to 60 percent. Potentially unstable atmosphere. Potentially unstable is required for a TRS to form. If the air is unstable, then it will continue rising and the disturbance will grow. This is required to maintain convection for an extended period of time. Limited vertical wind shear. For tropical cyclone formation vertical wind shear should be less than 10 meters per second between the surface and the tropopause. Strong wind shear can blow the TRS apart. Low or cyclone is the isobaric pattern of TRS. Low pressure is surrounding by high pressure. Pressure gradient is very high. In low, the isobars are closed shape, wind converge in low. In northern hemisphere the wind direction is anticlockwise and in southern hemisphere the wind direction is clockwise. There are formation of various clouds and which leads to precipitations. A tropical revolving storm forms in 5 to 20 degree latitude north and south of equator. TRS moves in west-northwest and northwesterly direction in northern hemisphere and TRS curves in north direction and then recurve in northeasterly direction moves towards oceanic high situated at around 30 degrees north. After recurving due to the effect of westerlies, the speed of the tropical evolving storm increases. In southern hemisphere, TRS moves in west-southwest and southwesterly direction in southern hemisphere. TRS curves in south direction and then recurve in southeasterly direction moves towards oceanic high situated at around 30 degrees south. After recurving due to the effect of westerlies, the speed of the tropical evolving storm increases. Why tropical revolving storm curve away from equator? The main reason is the Coriolis force. Coriolis force is caused due to rotation of the Earth. Coriolis force deflect the wind in right in northern hemisphere and left in southern hemisphere. Coriolis force is minimum at equator and as latitude increase, intensity increases as latitude increases and is maximum at poles. Coriolis force deflect the TRS in right in northern hemisphere and left in southern hemisphere and taking it away from equator. For a formation of TRS, adequate value of Coriolis force is required. Intertropical Convergence Zone, ITCZ is a low pressure area at equator which moves as declination of sun changes. Is ITCZ a equatorial front? ITCZ is not a equatorial front because there is no formation of a front. Front is a separation between two different air masses, in case of ITCZ only one one air mass is there, which is warm air mass. That is why no front is formed at equator and ITCZ is not an equatorial front. Track is the route over which the strom center are already passed. Path is the predicted route over which the strom center is likely to travel. Vertex is the westernmost longitude reached by the strom center when recurving take place. Other name of vertex is cod. Trough is the line drawn through the center of strom at right angle to the track ahead of the trough pressure fall and behind of trough pressure rise. Left hand semicircle, that half of the strom center lies to the left of the observer who faces along the path of the strom. Right hand semicircle, 
That half of the strom center lies to the right of the observer who faces along the path of the strom. Dangerous semicircle, right hand semicircle in northern hemisphere, navigable semicircle, left hand semicircle in northern hemisphere, dangerous quadrant, advanced quadrant of right hand semicircle in northern hemisphere and in southern hemisphere as TRS is going in southwesterly direction so dangerous hemisphere and dangerous quadrant changes. Dangerous semicircle, left hand semicircle in southern hemisphere, navigable semicircle, right hand semicircle in southern hemisphere. Dangerous quadrant, advanced quadrant of left hand semicircle in southern hemisphere. Why right hand semicircle in northern hemisphere and left hand semicircle in southern hemisphere is dangerous semicircle. Let's take the example of northern hemisphere. As wind being anti-clockwise, it will push the ship close to strong center and while TRS is also moving northwesterly direction in northern hemisphere, ship will come close to strong center, that is why right hand semicircle is dangerous semicircle in northern hemisphere. In the example of southern hemisphere, as wind being clockwise, it will push the ship close to strong center and while TRS is also moving southwesterly direction in northern hemisphere, Ship will come close to strom center, that is why left hand semicircle is dangerous semicircle in northern hemisphere. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe this video among your friends and colleagues. Join our Telegram channel for latest maritime updates and exams preparations.